Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hello, sports fans. Welcome back to the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Art Takari. Great to have you back with us. Make sure you're checking out our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. We have all the links to the best European and Asian bookmaker sites, as well as United States-friendly bookmaker sites as well. We also got the Bookmaker 101 Basics. We got the Bookmaker Guide and our A to Z sports betting lingo. And that's where we're going to get started today. And the word of the day is parlay. Now, what is a parlay? Well, basically, in simple English, a parlay is a bet on two or more teams or outcomes. When you're doing a parlay, usually you want to bet on more than one team that's favored to win because you want to increase the payout and increase your earnings. So with that, let's go to Pinnacle.com and get a good example of how you should do a parlay. And on the 13th of July, we got some UEFA Europa League qualifiers going on. First, you got Galatasaray, Turkish Super League Giants, hosting Ostersund of Sweden. The payout here shows 1.735 for Galatasaray, 3.860 for a draw, 4.980 for Ostersund. Next, you got Kairat Almaty of Kazakhstan, hosting Skenderbu Korche of Albania. Payout here shows 1.181 for Kairat Almaty, 6.640 for a draw, and for Skenderbu, 22.950. Wow, heavy, heavy underdogs. Not a surprise here, because after looking at Kairat's roster, they actually have Russian midfielder Andrei Arshavin, who made a name for himself playing for Russia in Euro 2008. Obviously, he's past his prime now, but he's obviously causing lots of damage here for Kairat Almaty. Next, you got Brundby of Denmark hosting VPS Vasa of Finland. Payout here shows 1.178 for Brundby, 6.680 for a draw, and 20.090 for Vasa. Clearly, the Finnish teams are not favored to go anywhere in UEFA Champions League qualifying. As you all know, there are numerous games going on for Europa League qualifiers, but these are the three I'm focusing on here. I want to help you with your parlays. So if you feel like going for three favorites, go ahead and bet the money line on Galatasaray, Kairat Almaty, and Brundby to win. So if you put a parlay in all three of them, and if they all win, you will increase your earnings. So like I said, if you want to go ahead and put a parlay on three favorites, go ahead and place your bets on Galatasaray, Kairat Almaty, and Brundby. I hope your parlay works out well. And that is on Pinnacle.com. That's www.pinnacle.com. When you're on Pinnacle, and if you have an account, get on the right side of the page, you'll see single bets. Instead, select multiple bets while you're looking at UEFA Europa League qualifiers. Make your picks. Remember, you got to do more than two to do a parlay. But like I said earlier, go for Galatasaray, Kairat Almaty, and Bronby for your parlay. Good luck. Next, we are still on the topic of soccer or football, depending on where you are in the world. And next, we got the UEFA Women's European Championship, which will be starting July 16th and finishing on the 6th of August. 16 teams will be participating. Let's take a look at the groups. And this tournament will be in Netherlands. So in Group A, you got the hosts Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, and Belgium. Should be an entertaining group. I think that's a favorable draw for the hosts. Then in Group B, you got Germany, Sweden, Italy, and Russia. Like pretty much any tournament, obviously the Germans are favored there to come out of that group. In Group C, you got France, Iceland, Austria, and Switzerland. And in Group D, England, Scotland, Spain, and Portugal. And with that, I'm on bet365.com. I want to take a look at which of these women's national teams are favored 
to win outright. And no surprise, at the top of the list, you got the German women, 2-1, to one, and the French women, 11-4. to four. So Germany and France are the top two favorites here, according to Bet365.com, to win the 2017 UEFA Women's Championship. At the very bottom, you have Russia and Portugal, both of them 250 to 1 odds. Wow. Clearly, at times, there's a big difference when comparing men's national teams to some of the women's national teams. But like I said here, Germany and France are favored to take the women's European Championship. And you know what? I always enjoy watching the Women's World Cup. I find it very entertaining, and I think I will definitely make an effort to watch this tournament. So like I said, get to bet365.com and place your bets. And before we continue, make sure you check out our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. On our website, you have easy access to the Bookmaker 101 Basics. That includes steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw. Our Bookmaker Guide is available to download. Read through it at least two or three times. Remember, I want you to become an expert on this whole entire online sports betting process. And remember, we have betting strategies, tips. Don't forget about our A to Z sports betting lingo. Remember, you may not sound like an expert just yet, but keep on listening to the Bookmaker Podcast. Check out our website, and you'll be good to go. All right, everybody, we are getting closer to wrapping up this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. But first, let's talk some baseball and progression bets. As you all know, the All-Star Game took place on the 11th of July. The American League was victorious by defeating the National League 2-1 to in 10 innings. Great game. Major League Baseball will be back in action on Friday, the 14th of July. And when, earlier when I mentioned progression bets, well, let me explain what that is. As you all know, there's going to be many games to choose from. It's always baseball games every day during baseball season. I'm looking at some of the games here on my phone. I'm looking at Tampa Bay against the Anaheim Angels. So the Angels will be hosting Tampa Bay. So I'm going to take a look at the Angels schedule. As you all know, in baseball, you're playing the same team in a three or four game series. So with the Angels, like I said, they're hosting Tampa Bay. That'll be a game on Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday. So for a progression bet, let me just give you an example. Let's just say you put $10 on the Angels to beat Tampa Bay on the 14th. And let's just say Tampa Bay wins. You know, don't worry. That means the next game, double that bet. Put $20 on the Angels because this is one of those situations where you feel that, okay, Angels lost, but you're assuming they're going to find a way to win. Now you're probably wondering, what happens if they lose that second game? If they win that third game, you get your money that you lost in the first and second game, and you also have your earnings from that third bet. All I can say there, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're paying attention to Major League Baseball. It's getting exciting as from here on out, we'll be getting closer to October and that means playoff baseball. But for now, we do got a few months to go until we get to October. And with that, everybody, that is it for this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. Really glad you could join us. Make sure you check out our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Remember, on our website, you have all the latest sports betting information right in front of you. You don't need to go to Vegas. We all remember that Hangover movie. So remember, stay safe, be alert, and take your love of sports to the next level. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Takari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.